Hello everyone, I am Dr. Divya Sharma. I am a dermatologist with special interest in pediatric dermatology and trichology. I am practicing in AECS layout 60 feet road and uh, in the area of Brookfield since past 6 years. So, atopy is a tendency to have allergy wherever body is in contact with outside and atopic dermatitis is the skin manifestation of it. Atopic dermatitis is a chronic inflammatory skin disorder where the primary problem is a barrier dysfunction. As you know, our skin is basically like a wall. It has a brick and mortar arrangement where the bricks are the skin cells and the mortar that holds our skin together is natural moisturizing factor. Natural moisturizing factor is composed of ceramides, cholesterol and free fatty acids in an equimolar ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 1. Now the primary defect in atopy is due to some genetic reasons there is a dysfunction in the synthesis as well as the quality of this natural moisturizing factor which is deficient in these children. So if the motor is not great anything can penetrate the wall and cause allergy. Now when it comes to prevention as I said it's primarily a barrier dysfunction. The first and foremost thing that we can do to prevent atopic dermatitis is to use a moisturizer rather replenish the natural moisturizing factor with a moisturizer that resembles chemically the equimolar ratio of the natural factors. So a good moisturizer would form the cornerstone of prevention of atopic dermatitis. Number two we do secrete, these children do secrete natural moisturizer factor although in less quantities we have to retain that. So we also have to you know follow certain cleansing practices, we have to avoid certain rituals and practices which cause further drying of skin. For example, we should give bath to these children for as minimum time as possible, possibly 5 to 10 minutes using a cleanser or a soap that is not drying. I would prefer a syndet over a soap as they are soap free. We should uh, you know prefer a parabens and a fragrance free syndet or a body wash. We have to use small quantities of it you know on the contrary to our uh, traditional Indian practices where we believe in applying a lot of soap and water. I would say we have to minimize that. So choose a good soap, use it in minimum quantities, do not extend the bath beyond 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure that you pat dry the child and apply the moisturizer immediately after bath and once before you sleep. Few other handy tips that come in preventing the flares. I cannot say that we can prevent it totally but we can definitely minimize the exacerbations would be. Do not uh, you know make them wear clothes especially the ones which are made of wool and hosiery and fabric. It's only 100% cotton that is preferred in these children. Number two, avoid using you know fabric conditioners, fragrances, detol, savlon and other antiseptic solutions. Number three, we should make them not uh, play in the sand quite often as sand itself has an abrasive effect on the skin. Number four, try to keep the environment as humid as possible. Avoid using air conditioners for long. Use an air humidifier if you stay in not so humid climate like in Bangalore. And number five, Make sure that you use the moisturizer more frequently.